Hey guys, who's played the game of tic-tac-toe as a kid? Um, I assume most of you have, and today's game is called Tic-Tac-Toe Ho-Ho-Ho. So welcome to the Coaching Kids Soccer Podcast. My name's Chris King, and we've got another fun game for you today, and it's Christmas-themed. So hopefully you can use this before the kids break up for Christmas. Otherwise, just use it as a regular tic-tac-toe one throughout the season. Now, um, you want to set up, grab some cones and set up a grid just like tic-tac-toe. So you've got uh, nine squares and then you split the teams into, um, split the players into two teams. And uh, what makes this Christmas themed is hopefully if you've got some Santa hats or some reindeer antlers laying around, the kids can either use these to put them down as their noughts and, and crosses or the player that uh, runs out has to have a Santa hat on. Okay, so have a bit of fun with this one. So the kids line up, and you can either do it dribbling. That's the way that I like to do it. So each player or each team has a ball. They dribble out. And um, so let's say, for example, that we're playing it so that the player that dribbles out has to have a sand hat on. So I'll dribble out with the ball, and I'll have a red-colored bibs. So I'll have a bib in my hand. Each team has three bibs, and they try and get three in a row before the other team can get three in a row. So I'll dribble out. Um, put my bib in the middle square, dribble back, give my hat to the next player, they'll dribble out and um, put their next bib in a square as well. At the same time, the other team's going and they're trying to block, block us off so that we don't get three in a row. Now, once three bibs are on the ground, the next player that runs out, dribbles out, they can move one of their team's bibs. Okay, so I hope that all makes sense. It's just simply tic-tac-toe, but with football, and you're using bibs, different coloured bibs, instead of the noughts and crosses. So one team's red, one team's green at Christmas, if you can. And uh, yeah, each team, each player has to put on the reindeer antlers or a Santa hat before they can go. Okay, so yeah, have lots of fun with this one. Um, I think that's it. The main things that um, players work on here... Um, obviously dribbling and the good thing as well you've got your teammates there they're all yelling and communicating at the player that's dribbling out telling them where to put the ball because sometimes in in the rush the player dribbling can't see where to get it so you want to um, make sure that you tell the teammates help your teammate out tell them which square to dribble to and that's what they do in a match as well so you want to organize players you know you go left you mark him you mark her things like that so players could be communicating. So it gets players thinking on their feet, dribbling, concentrating, passing, having a laugh. Okay, so that's tic-tac-toe, ho-ho-ho, all the best. And if you need any other socking, soccer coaching material, just head over to Amazon. Uh, I've got Coaching Kids Soccer Volumes 1, 2, 3. I've also got another book called uh, 50 Tips on How to Coach a Children's Soccer Team. And I've got this one called Kicking It With Santa, 20 Christmas themed drills. That's what this one's from. And uh, what else have I got? I've got lots of adult books as well. So if you're, teach, if you're coaching senior players, I've got training sessions for soccer coaches, volumes one, two, three. Uh, I've got Rondo um, drills as well. There's two volumes of that. And I've also got attacking and shooting uh, drills for soccer coaches volumes at one and two at the moment so yeah lots of stuff on amazon and they're all aimed at grassroots soccer coaches so beginner coaches um yeah volunteer coaches anything like that all right so if you haven't had the time to go through any you know professional courses or what these books really give you a, a step up and give you the confidence to um coach anything from junior teams through to adult teams and they're really and no fancy language or anything like that. Um, just good practical drills that you can use um, week in, week out at your training session at your local club. So, yeah, thanks for your support. Um, hopefully you're getting some good information out of these um, uh, podcasts. And I will be doing a, a senior player and adult player podcast at some stage. But I'm just uh, getting in the swing of things and getting the kids, kids ones up and running. So, yeah, keep an ear out for that in the future. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, Merry Christmas if this is before the 25th and yeah, um, all the best.